Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games, shall we? Shogi Wars is always a bit of fun. So, yeah, I think we'll try to play Central Fall Rook and see how it goes. Our opponent is quite insistent on this, um, but I can be insistent too. I admit a lot of confusion here with what my opponent's trying to do. Um, but we can still play our central fall rook. And yeah, they're trying to attack my bishop's head. But I seem to have a way to defend this, no? Have I missed something? Okay, they're playing aggressively. Let's get our king a little bit safer. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we do something unique today. This looks fun, right? Just duck into the corner. There we go. They attack our silver's head, and we say that's fine. If they push the center pawn, I think I take it, right? So, yeah, stuff's going to exchange, and my king is marginally safer than their king is. Uh, so I think that's fine. Now we win a rook. Thanks for the game. I apologize if I forgot to wish my opponent good luck that game. Um... In Japanese, there's a custom um, of well wishes at the beginning of a game. Good luck. Oh, hang on. All right. Ah. I see our opponent is paying attention this game. All right. That makes things more interesting for both of us, doesn't it? close this diagonal and attack quickly I uh, see they are defending their king okay we've built this formation they probably will push this pawn maybe not um I wonder if I could play the quick Ishida shape. Uh, wait, no, if I move the bishop too early, this pawn races. So that's not best. Let's get our king out of here. Um, am I going to build Anaguma once more? Is it so amusing to me to do this? Maybe. Oh, I could kick the silver, can't I? Yeah, let's take care of that before the silver comes up and hits my pawn. Um, I see. So they fight back. I can still control this square with my general. And if they're so insistent... Do I push? Or do I bring my rook over to defend this? Or my bishop? The bishop could handle that, right? Yeah, that looks appropriate. So now I have this attack with tempo. Um, this is bizarre. So let's build something up here. They're trying to attack the square in front of my rook. Um, 
Yeah, it's bizarre. What more can be said? Okay, we can seal out the knight and silver. We can also threaten to attack the bishop's head. So yeah, this is something. Yeah, we didn't have to go there. All right. But now that we're here, um, they're still not going to take my pawn because I have it protected twice, which allows me to pursue this with tempo. There we go. And then my bishop can handle this as well. Uh, I don't see any reason not to play that. Although I don't have much reason to play it either. Okay, so they're going to try to attack down the center. Where can I best use my pieces to attack? Um, I this is going to get complicated. Okay. Uh, did I not adequately account for this? Maybe not. Maybe there's more to account for. Um, if they take, if I take, and yeah, they have enough pieces attacking here. Um. This looks interesting. I'm not sure which piece I capture with if things start happening. I think I take diagonally. Um, no, that's not right. Oh, uh, this is not great. Yeah, they found a weakness. Alright, so... Yeah, they're going to get my pawn, and I'm going to be happy with this somehow. Um, this was not my finest maneuver of all time, but hey, it's a maneuver. I lost a pawn. I'll suck it up and deal with it. Um, Oh, this repeats the tactic again. All right, well, uh, that was not my finest maneuver ever either. So we're going to have to do something pretty fine soon, aren't we? Okay. What do we do? Yeah, goodness. Um, I've thoroughly Goofy. perplexed myself. Uh, This seems to be the best I can do. 
but this is not going well. <laughs> right. So here, this prevents them from collecting my knight. The downside is that everything is hanging, but if you ignore that, we're doing fine. Um, all right, let's pretend we have a counterattack, because maybe we do. Maybe this is going to be brilliant somehow, despite uh, my not having a pawn in hand. I'm going to pretend I have one, and maybe that's all it takes. It's just a really good imagination. Welcome. Yeah, our opponent is playing well, and I'm playing respectably, but I've done better. Um... Okay. Interesting. There are some difficulties with that move they played. Um, so I get to attack their king directly. It'll be interesting to see what they have in mind. They might have been trying to trap my bishop. And my bishop is trapped. Mm -hmm. But um, that's not the end of the game. Okay. Um, I'll take here. Do I take it again? I assume so. This has to be sane, I assume. And then I just keep attacking, right? There's no rule that says once you lose your bishop you have to stop attacking. Um, though it might get harder. Might be difficult to attack in this situation. Um. So, yeah, my everything is still a bit loose, but I got this foothold in. They do defend, which I guess looks reasonable. Something. Um, hmm. How are they going to defend this? Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this is not easy. I guess we'll take here. I'm a bit fuzzy on how the rest of this is going to play out. It 
So if they just take my silver, that'd be bad for them. Um, I guess we'll try to make use of my silver this way. Um. Okay. The important thing is that I approach the king. Some might argue the important things that I not lose on time, but um, that's just gonna happen. Okay. Strange. Okay, this gives me a use for my knight. Um, this looks kind of interesting. Sings my night, but it's okay. Hmm. Strange. Strange behavior. Oh, that's checkmate. Oops. Okay. Yes, that was their defense. Uh, well played. Thanks for the game. Um, yeah, I should have taken the silver. Good luck. I was so focused on trying to figure out what was happening on the other half of the board that I forgot um, what they had in hand. In fairness to myself, it is a bit tricky to read what pieces the opponent has in hand, just given the way this website renders. The more pieces they have in hand, the tinier each piece is, uh, which is unlike your own hand, where you can clearly see what all the pieces are. Um, so, 
Uh, that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Alright, you talked me into it. We're playing third foul rook. Um, is this the duck? Is this the duck? We might see the duck here, guys. Alright. How does one play against a duck? Yeah, they played the duck shape or duck leg strategy. Um, so should be interesting for me to figure out how I'm playing here. Um, right. And this isn't the opponent who routinely plays that strategy every game. There is one such opponent. This is not that opponent. So yeah, here they can promote because I erred. Um, further, well, I could offer a rook exchange afterward, and seemingly there's not a fork that ends the universe here, but... Um, mm, it's uncomfortable, but this seems to be my best move. Seemingly, after rook takes rook or gold takes, um, I don't see an immediate fork, but there's probably bad news there somewhere. Either going, either exchange or they defend the rook somehow. So here they exchange. Uh, I guess they're evaluating whether to drop the rook again. And the answer is probably yeah, they should drop it somewhere. Um, I don't expect that I can defend everything here. Um. Hmm. We're going to see if it's possible to completely fend off this rook. And even if it's possible, that doesn't mean it's a good idea, but... Um, yeah, this is... I'm playing strangely. But maybe it's okay. If they drop a rook, it seems to be cornered in this case. Um... Yeah, I could bring back the silver to collect it. So, we're going to see them use another piece somehow here. As for which piece and where, I don't know. Maybe a pawn drop there looks pretty hard to defend against. Yeah, if I take, there's this rook drop fork, which is most unpleasant. So, um... So either I dive into the corner or I go back toward the center. They drop a rook here. I use my rook somehow to defend against this. They promote. We exchange. And then they take my lance. Uh, so I'm not seeing anything fantastic here. If I go back this way, if they do this rook drop, we can... No, there's not a whole lot to be seen here. Pardon me, I have to get my alarm clock, I forgot.
I forgot to silence the alarm clock before the match. So, happened to wake up a little bit early today. Alright, so they off. They're using the Rook. They're going to promote next. Everything I have is loose here. So that's not great. Um... If I offer up the Lance, I can still get an attack. Well, no. This is not great. If I drop my Rook, if they promote, we exchange. They don't have a Pawn to drop in that case. The Pawn drop is what most concerned me there. Um, that and my Hanging Gold back here. But yeah, here we exchange rooks. And I think now I return this favor. Oh, now they will have a pawn to drop, even though a moment ago they didn't have one. This game is complicated, in case it's not obvious. Um, so, yeah, my idea was to attack this gold general, and I did not see a way they could drop a pawn. But now they have a pawn. Of course, they have other things they can drop, too. Um, so, probably I take up this exchange. Um, this continues to look interesting. If we repeat this with the rook in front of the gold, I can push this pawn and all hell breaks loose. As for who that benefits, I'm not sure. Um, there's one way to find out, though. Also, if they drop the rook in front. Yeah, I could just orchestrate a rook exchange and then push the pawn anyway. Um, so, we've seen possibilities on this board. I intend to bring the silver together to join the castle. Um, I'm also threatening this pawn drop again, and then rook takes and they drop this pawn back and force them back a row, but I don't think that helps me in any way. Alright, so finally we have a chance to break the castle the other direction, too. Um, yeah, since this divides their castle, I should do it. Um... And then we'll join my castle back together. And I think I've got many things covered, but my gold here and my rook are loose. So there are weaknesses, but I do this before considering this pawn drop. Maybe I should have done the pawn drop anyway. Seems not to have mattered, which I do first. Um... Also, if I drop a bishop... Well, he could drop a bishop to defend, so my bishop drop's not that useful. Go um, My rook is not useful as an attacking piece. I wish it were, but... Yeah, I have to be a little bit careful here. Let's rejoin my castle again. And then we can do this pawn drop once the timing is better. Uh, they might be planning to use their knight to attack. I think that would be a bit premature. But who am I to judge? I like quick attacks. So yeah, they might try to escape this knight before I do something that hurts them too badly. Um... Strange. 
Okay. They open a space for me to drop a knight. That's kind of polite of them. Um, all right, we're going to drop this anyway. Let's see where we end up. Yeah, they saved a pawn, and I don't know if I'm just going to go trying to collect the pawn anyway. I'm really confused what I'm doing. So... What I do see is my rook can come over this direction, and they've not trapped my rook, and it has quite a reach. Um, if they try to win my lance, I might drop my bishop to try to defend the lance, bring my knight up, maybe push this pawn, I don't know. Okay, that's not using the rook to win the lance. Oh, I don't have a rook to drop. I only have a bishop to drop. Hmm, that's an issue. Alright, so they get my lance. I can't have saved it. Um, but I had this tactic. So, is this sound? Probably not. But what else can I do? Uh, that is a check. Okay. My everything is hanging. I think I've lost. <laughs> In most embarrassing fashion. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is pretty terrible. All right, we'll try to use the bishop to do something, but um, I've lost both of my lances for no compensation. Now my rook is hanging um, with nowhere to go. Let's promote here. It's just a rook. Looks like we'll have to offer it. Oh, right, they have lance takes. I knew that. Um, hmm. Something. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. All right, it's just a rook. We've only got one of those, but, you know. It has to be okay. Um, let's just keep attacking, because the minute we let up on this attack, everything is over. This is not my greatest attack ever, because by the end of it, I'm going to have one apiece, and they're going to have many pieces. <laughs> But that should not freeze me in place. I need to attack. I don't have a choice. Yeah, they can just run away from my silver. And I don't have a continuation. I mean... This is a continuation, but it's pathetic. Right, they're threatening my knight. Um, hang on, I can actually go back here. Yeah, my king will need to escape this dungeon somehow. Um, but the minute I move something, uh, my entire position weakens. So it is nice that we're 
in the middle of four generals. Um, there's some small comfort in that. All right, let's attack this gold. It almost certainly won't matter, but there's some very slight possibility that could matter somehow. Um, sure, why not? <laughs> oh, this drops uh, my gold. It's a beautiful looking castle. It's a very, very expensive castle that just cost me all of my pieces. Um, but it looks beautiful. Um, I guess looks aren't everything. Hmm. Alright, we'll attack here. I seem to be a touch outnumbered. Uh, if I lift that, I die, so we can retreat. I can't. Mm. Okay. If I run away, this everything collapses, so since I can't drop with the pawn, we have to block with some other piece. If there is a reversal, it will be epic. I guess that's the one bit of good news here. The bad news is that the possibility of a reversal is basically zero, um, but it could happen. The angels could win the pennant. Um, boom. Nope. Okay, let's try to escape. Um, sure. Why not? If they give check every move, then there's some chance. Okay. Um, maybe this. Then I can block here. Ah, they have a knight. Checkmate. Thanks for the game. Well played. Alright. We seem to have kept our tradition of winning one and losing two. Um, so, make of that what you will. Probably means I need to learn something instead of just playing. But, give it time. We'll get there. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching.